Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today what I have for you guys, as you can see, I did manage to get one of my orders in and we do have Poison Ivy and Batgirl from Batman and Robin. This is freaking something I cannot believe I got my hands on guys. Really like never thought that I would have these officially made from McFarlane. Like, I don't know if you guys are hyped for this or like me or not, but I was hyped about these figures since I knew they were coming out. Hence, like I stated before my channel, I think when he did the trilogy wave uh, for the Batman Begin movies, I really, I when I reviewed those figures, I talked about wanting these to come out and wanting the, not only these, but the one from Batman Forever. So hopefully we get a Batman Forever wave because those figures um, got to look good if they're coming out. And honestly, I wouldn't doubt that they're going to be coming out soon. Hopefully, guys, if you guys are hype and excited as I am for these figures and just the old Batman and Robin and Batman Forever movies. I know they're not a lot of people's favorite, but I got to say those are... You know, more of the ones I grew up watching. I did watch, obviously, the the original first Batman movies. Um, and those were great as well. But these, there was a fun factor from these movies. I don't know if it was the, the toys that came with these movies. I don't know if it was the, uh, maybe the colors, the neon colors. Or, to me, these movies felt like I was seeing a live action comic book somewhat because of the colors and just the outfits that they wear and whatnot in the movie. So I was super excited. As you can see, the packaging is beautiful. It has the beautiful red. These did came from the McFarlane toy store. Um, and I gotta say, these packaging, this package for both of these figures are crisp. Like, perfect, man. These things are mint. So if you're a mint inbox collector, perfect bo boxes to have them on love it i just look hence this movie is all neon man but i love it i gotta say story wise may not be the best batman movie or it could be the worst but at the end of the day like what it brought and what it offered to us i really do enjoy so without further ado let's get these figures out the box all right guys Getting them out the box, I must say, Bad Girl took a lot longer than Poison Ivy. However, um, got them out the box. So, we're going to start off with the awesome cards. Again, you guys know how I feel about um, when we get cards with figures. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of collecting Marvel cards, DC cards. So, really happy we got this card. Beautiful card, man. And... We do get the one for Poison Ivy, which looks better. Um, here it is. So you got two beautiful cards, two beautiful artworks going on. Um, so the back of the cards, if you guys want to read it, go ahead, pause it and read it. But without without a doubt, some good collectible cards here. And more for the binder. Um, accessories. Sadly, um, they don't really bring any accessories. They build, bring the Builder figure pieces. So Poison Ivy did bring the main torso piece for Mr. Freeze. So look at that. A lot of people I've been hearing do not like the colors for Mr. Freeze. And this keeps falling off, which is typical with McFarlane figures. So... I don't know if that's just mine, but that's a little friendly note. It might be falling off on everyone's. I'm not sure. And then you do get these nice shoulder pads with um, Batgirl. So you get the shoulder pads. They're rubbery. And you get the head scope. And I gotta say, I cannot wait to get this Mr. Freeze man built up. I'm really happy with what McFarlane is doing with the Batman movie lines. Like, right now, they don't really disappoint. So, check that out. That looks awesome. This piece was really taped on. It was really annoying to get off. But, look at that. Nice effect. I believe it's for, yep, it's for the gun. Look at that. 
That looks freaking awesome. I like the gun, I do. It looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and see if I can half, uh, half built this, um, this figure here for you guys. So there's the torso and the head. Maybe I should have put in the shoulder pads first, but let's see how this goes. So it goes here, and then he has the hose on the back, so that won't fall. Let me go ahead and do this right over here. Did I do this right? Hold up. There you go. Could be a little tricky sometimes, some of these things. But got it on. So here is Mr. Freeze. Missing the legs and the arms. Other than that, he's looking pretty good, man. He's looking pretty good. Now, for the stars of the show. All right. The star of the show, let's start off with Batgirl. She freaking looks really, really good. I gotta say, I do like the details that she's got going on with the, with the, with the suit and all the leather looks like, it looks good, man. Like, he really did a great job with this figure. Look at the beautiful head scope. Let's see, there you go. Like, the head scopes on these figures are done really, really well, and... They almost feel like just like statues, but with articulation. Like the way they feel, the way they look. Like look at the cape, for instance. Look how beautiful it's molded. Even though it is rubber and not cloth, he did an awesome design with it. This is the first time me seeing like these kind of like wrinkle waves going on through the whole cape. Um, really looks really good. I ain't gonna lie, looks really good he did a great job kind of like the best cape i have seen from my figures that i own so far um the head like the hair on the scope really good as well like this figure is not disappointing um let me see if i can go ahead and fix this up here so you guys can get a better look at that head scope because it's, this camera is not focusing right now and it's not giving like the figure justice because this head scope is great, man. Let me see. There you go. Look at that. That head scope is really, really good. The suit as well, looking really good. There you guys go. I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't know what's going on today, but not focusing right. So, look at the, um, on the legs. She's got that, uh, it's kind of like Batgirl type of signal here going down her boots. This freaking thing is amazing. It looks really good. There is the Bat signal, Batgirl signal on the chest. So that, everything looks freaking good, man. 100%, 10 out of 10 for this figure. Moving along to Poison Ivy. Moving along to Poison Ivy, I think she's possibly going to be the best figure of this line. I don't have Robin or Batman yet, but just looking at this figure, this is like a artwork from a comic book brought to life. Like, this thing is amazing. And this is probably going to be the most expensive and hardest one to get after, you know, out of stock. She looks phenomenal. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, the red and the way the hair is um done, this figure, it's perfect. This figure, I would say, is perfect. Like, between her, the way he molded the outfit, and then you got the vine down here on her leg. You got the, the outfit looking really good. With all like the, the texture. The hair overflowing down. Longer on this side than on that side. And it just looks really good. The attention to detail that this figure got. It honestly doesn't feel like a McFarlane figure. It feels like something better. Um, especially on this beautiful head scope. Like, look at that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it definitely feels like a something McFarlane didn't produce like I'm not saying he doesn't do great figures but this right here this this is 
perfect, guys. I gotta say, he's been giving us a great job. Look at the vine on. I didn't even see the leaf right there. The only thing these figures are missing is some, at least one accessory for each. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Check her arm out. There's some detail right here that I don't know what's going on with my camera today. It's just not wanting to focus. But details down here. Look at that. So overall, beautiful, beautiful figure, guys. The bottom, it goes from green to black. Now, this is kind of like airbrush painted. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like a faded painted. It doesn't look like an actual boot like hers. So that's the only thing I don't really like. I mean, I would have preferred some, like, boots. But other than that, man, this figure is... It's, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's possibly going to be the best one from this whole line. And a 10 out of 10. I will give Batgirl as well. Man, it's just if I give this a 10 out of 10, I can't give it to Batgirl because Batgirl does not look as good as this girl right here, Poison Ivy. But they're both bangers. I will say the strongest one is going to be guaranteed Poison Ivy. I can already tell. Um, but as far as Batgirl goes, um, she is a great figure. Definitely worth uh, getting. They're all, to me... For my opinion, worth getting. I'm a huge fan of this movie. Even though a lot of people hate it, I enjoy watching it. So, um, at the end of the day, I think these figures are definitely worth it. Are they a step up from the trilogy wave? That, I will do a video on the channel. I'll do a separate video for that and let you guys know if this this line beats the trilogy wave line once i have them all set and done we'll even compare builder figures from both lines but huge fan huge fan of what mcfarning has done with these movie lines and just what he's been doing lately i'm really excited to see hopefully we get the batman forever um figures hopefully so that being said guys leave your Comments down below and let me know what you guys think about these figures. Are you guys excited that these came out? Are you going to get them? Do you think they're worth it? You don't like them? Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one.